show you some little more advanced wiring stuff. First of all, we're going to strip these wires here. And for our test, we're using a 12 volt battery here. It's the exact same sort of power that you have in the car. It's just easier to work with here. So the basic, looking up your hot and your ground, you get power. Problem is if you left that on, obviously it would drain your battery. Make sure this one's working too. Yeah. Some of these connectors for whatever reason are very poorly wired. I've had to go in there and re-solder things and so forth. This is a relay and that's basically what you'll find. I like to it's not that much more money to buy these connectors but that way they're color coded and ready to go. Again, I'm going to go ahead and strip these. Alright, now that we've got that ready to go, we're going to make a couple test leads here. I just got some short pieces of wire. Generally speaking, black is ground. So we're going to stick with that. I'm going to crimp this on here. Generally you want to see a little piece coming through there. And then I like to do two thicknesses of this tool. Starting at the edge there and then one more. And that's usually the metal there that will crimp down and hold that. And then a real soft crimp at the end to kind of close it off. thickness, two thickness. And at that point it's held tight and then like I said I usually do a soft crimp at the end just to kind of close that off. So there's our ground. Same way. Okay. And I'm going to strip the opposite end quite a bit longer because we're going to be playing around with these ends. This switch is labeled on the sides, some of them are labeled on the bottom, but it shows your plus, your ground, and then your output there. And do blue for our output. So we've got our output here. I'm just going to twist this together just to show you how this can work. You wouldn't do this if you were wiring this in a car or anything. I'm just showing you for an example here. So if this was in a vehicle you'd have a fuse obviously so that if anything went wrong. So So now the switch is off. I'm going to hook up the light here. Ground is always the same, so you don't have to worry about the fact that these are both connected here, and your car just may go to the, the ground source somewhere. But you'll notice when I flip the switch, the light will come on, switch off. So in your car, when you turn your key on, there's what we call key on power. It's basically like flipping the switch and it sends power to all the different places in the car that need power when the key is on. When you turn your key off, then the power goes off. So that's one basic way. And obviously, instead of this being your key, this could just be a manual switch that you use. 
And what's really cool is the relay because this is how you can set things up to have like lights come on with your high beams or have the ability to have a power switch turn a light on but also like a door switch or something so this will give you the ability to have two different inputs go to one output so for example you could have your switch like this going in and your switch from your car coming in both of those connecting to here depending on which way the relay is triggered or you can flip that and have one input switch between two outputs so for example you could have the red light or the blue light and depending on which way the relay is triggered it turns on the red or the blue so what's totally crazy about the way they wire these is the color scheme they use is completely off so this would be your hot and your ground on your relay a little bit more about that here in a minute. So when nothing is hooked up, you have continuity between red and blue. If this gets a hot and this gets a ground, that continuity is going to switch to where these two have continuity. So let me show you that. You were going to hear it click. And that is basically the inside switching. So when we connect that, we're going to see continuity at the blue and yellow, not at the red and yellow. I mean, not at the red and the blue, and not at the red and the yellow. So how you work this, is if this is your input and these are your two outputs, you decide which one you want to have when there's no power, and which one you want to have when there's power, wire it accordingly. Or if you want this to be two inputs and one output, then you send this to your light. this you see the light comes on the light will not be on this way however if I turn the relay off, put the red up, see the light comes on now this way. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> So basically the relay will switch it between connecting the red and blue and the blue and yellow wires. And so it can go either direction. It can go power coming in here to go out one or the other, or it can go power coming in one or the other going out to one device. And then if you want to make things more complicated, you can throw a switch in here somewhere so the switch can either turn on your relay or the switch can be in between one of these if you want to have a manual control. So here it is with a switch in the mix. You'll notice the light does not come on when it's grounded, but it does come on when I flip the switch on. And then if I disconnect the relay will turn off as well. So, relay kicks on, light comes on, relay comes off, light goes off, switch off, 
no light, even though the relay is on. So that's one method there. Like I said, you would never have your wiring this sloppy in a car. You'd hopefully connect everything and insulate it with a fuse. I'm just showing you real quick how these relays and switches can be used to turn different things on and off. And this time we have the one input going to two different outputs. So right now the relay is off and it's powering down the red wire. Did the red light just so it would be easy for you to see. And then when you kick the relay on, you'll watch the blue light will come on and the red light will go off. So relay on, relay off, relay on, relay off. So hopefully that made sense. You'll see a lot of times with the relays, you may have one or more wires connected together, and, and that's okay, that's normal. Like for here, we got our power coming in. It's both our power source for the lights and our power source for the relay. And then our ground is the ground for the lights as well as triggering the relay here. And you can trigger your relay via the hot side or the ground side. So for example, I can disconnect the hot. Permanently connect the ground. And you see it still stays on. And then when I connect the hot. So don't get tripped up on having to have only the hot or only the ground. Because you can work your way around that. Hope this video was helpful, and uh, if it was, appreciate a like and a subscribe. Thank you very much.